Welcome Cougar fans to the very first edition of the Cougar Connection. This is your chance to get to know some of our programs here at SIUE. I'm Joe Pott and today's inaugural show features the SIUE volleyball team. And I'm pleased to welcome in the Cougars head coach, Kendall Paulus. Hi coach. Hi Joe. How are you? I'm good. I'm trying not to get hit by balls over here. I know. <laughs> I know. You are in a much uh, more dangerous position than I am in here. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome you, and I think this is going to be uh, a cool thing as we, we talk a little bit about your team um, and certainly, obviously, the most different of fall seasons, um, you know, than, than, than certainly you were used to. And, and, and that's as good a place to start, I think, as any. But, um, you know, at this point in time, normally you and I would be talking about who's coming up this weekend. You know, what, what do we have going on this weekend? We would be probably at the, the last weekend or second to last weekend of non-conference uh, play still, or would we be in OVC play yet? I honestly haven't even been <laughs> able to look. Um, another head coach on, on staff today referenced where they were, and I was like, I think I would be – it would make me really wish we were there <laughs> if I was paying attention. I deleted it all off my calendar. I don't, I don't blame you. And uh, like I said, this is obviously a, a most unique fall. Uh, and not just for you, but for your team as well. Um, yeah. let, let's actually – let's backtrack a little bit. We'll backtrack. So, first of all, you're without a spring season last year. And, and as you and I have talked before, that spring season is where you lay down a lot of foundation of things that are going to help you moving forward into your fall season. Yeah, we were making fantastic progress last spring, you know, as uh, culture wise, but also on the court. And we were just starting to see things become habits. And um, we were tracking those habits. We were like, we're so close. You know, we were leaving for spring break. We were excited to take the break, come back and, and watch those numbers go up. Um, it was really unfortunate that we hadn't been able to see another team across the net last spring. I think that would have made the transition a little bit easier because we weren't able to see that that progress come to fruition against another team yet. Head coach Kendall Paulus with us here from the SIUE volleyball team going into her fourth season as the head coach for the Cougars. Um, so when you get to this summer and, and you see how things are progressing and, and, you know, you start to get to the point where your team is coming back, I, I imagine you have to have an inkling that there's a chance that we could go through this postponement as, as is happening? No question. We were constantly living in that in-between. I think when season was far enough ahead, it was easy to think, okay, like we're going to get there. And we used those thresholds to keep the team motivated. It was like, well, this is what we know right now. And right now we are going, you know, full fledged ahead. We're, you know, for preseason August 7th. And that's what we were working towards. So uh, that's what we were planning for literally up until days before. Even though we knew it was possibly coming, until we got the news, we had no option but to be 100% in that present moment and planning for preseason. So it still, even though we knew it was possibly coming, it still feels like the rug gets pulled out from under you because that's what we had to plan for. So that it was still definitely a change even though we saw it coming. When you get the news that the season has been postponed to the spring, how do you pivot? How do you kind of refocus and, and reset those parameters and those thresholds again? Yeah, I think we knew time was going to have to help us. Uh, the seniors, it really, it really hit everyone hard, but it hit the seniors hard in a, in a different way. So we needed more information to come out from the NCAA to help us navigate that time moving forward. So we just tried to control what we can control in that time. And if any opportunity we got to be together, we would focus on that and, you know, say what we were grateful for. And that being together was, was our highlight, and it had to be for that time. Um, so once we got more information from the NCAA, and we got that year of eligibility back. Um, we had plans for a spring season. I think it allowed everybody to at least settle their nerves um, after about a week or so. So that, you know, I've been really grateful for both of those decisions, for the opportunity for a spring season, if all goes well. 
and that extra year of eligibility, I think, really helped our seniors kind of take a deep breath and, and still be able to plan their futures and do what's best for them. So what do weeks look like for you now? How much time do you have in the gym? How much time um, are the girls getting, you know, outside, maybe in the, in the weight room, the training, any of that? What, what's this kind of look like for your team now? Yeah, so we're in our eight-hour segment. Uh, we can be on court for four, and we're right at that four-hour segment. Uh, the rest of the time, they're downstairs in the weight room or doing some on-court agility with our awesome strength coach, uh, Zach Rothberg. And, you know, we're just – we're really still making gains in the eight-hour segment, and usually in spring in the eight hours, it's like it's never enough because, you know, we went so long – we go a whole winter break without volleyball. And so the second we get back together, it's like, God, eight hours flies by. And it is flying by, but because, you know, we're not getting much other opportunities to interact with people, it's still an hour together is still really awesome. And, you know, when they get here, we're all in. Everybody's 100% and really happy to be here, which I think still allows us to get a lot of work done in the eight-hour segment. Uh, I, I want to ask you about this, too. Last year, you were honored, your team was honored as one of the American Volleyball Coaches Association's uh, team academic uh, honorees. Uh, I know that's something that is important to you, is important to the staff, uh, and is a priority. So with this being a little bit of a different fall schedule, does that allow the girls to focus a little bit more in the classroom? I would say so. They're usually so fantastic about managing their time, both with, you know, a heavy volleyball schedule and academics. And honestly, I think when we get into our 20 hour weeks, it might actually help them manage it better because they have so much time right now that they need to try to fill to feel structured that it's yeah, with, the, with only practicing for eight hours, it's a lot of extra time in the day that they're not going to class. They're able to, you know, just pick up their online work whenever they want. And to, to create that structure on their own is really tough. And I think they've really valued the structure they get from having a heavy course load and, you know, being in a full 20-hour segment. Honestly, we see usually as a benefit to us. So... Um, right now, as we're getting better with our online classes and understanding the expectations of each professor, uh, while a lot of them are in hybrid type classes, um, you know, I think they just need to kind of keep working through what this new system looks like. And they're starting to settle in better now. Um, but I think once they got through each class and understood the professor's expectations, they really um, now are feeling settled in and ready to rock and roll. So volleyball wise, what are some strengths uh, of this team of this 2020, I guess, 2020, 21 team? We are extremely excited about our 2021 team. We'll call it. Um, we have so many people returning with court time. Um, we have Rachel McDonald, a senior. Uh, she's been a two-time all-conference player, six rotations for us, team captain um, for two years so far. Um, so we're really excited, you know, bringing her back. She has another year. I'm Hope Everett was her uh, an OBC freshman of the year. Last year she transitioned from the middle to the right side. I, you know, really excited about her second year on the right side and what that can look like. Um, Annie Ellis is a returning middle for us. Almost her whole career, you know, she's cracked the lineup. So tons of court experience. And another senior, Jordan Klein, um, has been in the libero jersey for two years and still getting better. They're, they're all still getting better. Um, we love our freshmen and in, in our whole incoming class. A uh, lot of depth in each position. Um, I feel like we're really physical. I'm, we're, just, we're really excited, super competitive right now um, because of how much the incomers are pushing us to get better. Um, I've loved seeing that in the gym. Well, I appreciate the time. We're going to catch up with you in just a little bit. Next thing that we are going to do is we're going to take a look at one of our senior video packages. We're going to meet some of the seniors from the SIUE volleyball team and hear how they are dealing with this new reality that we're all dealing with and with the postponement of this 2020 season. I think some of the weirdest parts about training is not having any games to look forward to. Um, you know, usually in the spring and fall, we always have, you know, our fall season and then 
spring season and those games to look forward to. And now it's just like we're playing to get better instead of playing to play games and win. I think one of the biggest positives for training without a season right now is that we just get to all be together. Being in quarantine for a lot of months um, was really tough on the team, but I think that we've bounced back really well and adapted to the new normal. Um, and this team, I'm so proud of them, and I'm just so happy that we get to all be here together, train, lift, um, and just kind of build our team culture um, when we don't have games to worry about. Being in quarantine also helped us create a group culture off the court, which correlated onto the court. So we all got to be already close together as we were practicing and working on things that were hard on ourselves and bringing it into a team culture. Mm -hmm. The difference from last year is that we have to create our own schedule and create your classes as if you were in person, but you're on Zoom. So you have to focus on one hour class, one hour class, one hour class practice, and then like another class possibly. So yeah. I don't know about you guys. And I think just not being as social as I was last year because I would use, um, you know, like walking through the quad and going to the training room and talking to people as like my social hour. And that looks like completely different this year because really the only time that I'm getting at school, like in person is with my teammates, which is great, but it just changes like the whole like social aspect of college basically. Mm -hmm. I would say, kind of going off what Sarah said, like my time management skills have had to improve a lot. Um, just making your own schedule, figuring out when you're gonna go to class, when you're gonna do your homework. Okay, then you have to put in time for practice, for training room, for uh, weights, for a team bonding. And then like, when are you gonna eat in there? Like all of those things, like you have to kind of carve that out for yourself because it's not like you have anyone to hold you accountable, um, at least like while you're at home on class, on Zoom, in class. <laughs> So I think that's been a big adjustment. I mean, I feel like the only thing would just be with the mask and like training with the mask. Cause that's a really big like adjustment a little bit. Cause I mean, before we were just, <laughs> I, I mean, it's not that big of adjustment, but it's like sometimes, wow, like I can't breathe. And then just trying to like maintain social distancing and practice while still being able to like hear your teammates and your coaches. It's a little difficult, but just different. But I feel like we're all really adjusting well and getting used to the, it being the new normal. I feel like this team this year is very special just because we are all super close and even the freshman class that came in, like we all gelled together really quick. And although we don't have games to look forward to right now, we're still prepared to get on the court and win when we do have that opportunity. Um, so I think just, you know, playing and working as hard as we can, but still having in mind that when we get on the court, we're working to win um, and get a ring and win the OVC championships. And with this extra practice time, I give our team nothing less, like more expectations than not, especially because we have all this time to gel together as well as practice. I think we do a really good job of leading from where we're at and knowing our strengths. Um, as a senior class, there's only three of us here, but there's six of us in total. And I think that we all have a role that we play really, really well and we have all the bases covered. And then we trust our team will support us in that. Um, we trust the staff to support us in that. And then in turn, we can put our trust in the staff and the team. Um, so then everything runs really smoothly. Well, I think COVID has really showed us that we don't lead by one person and we don't even lead by one class. Like the senior class is big and we're strong and we lean on each other, but we also work to be a pack, like a wolf pack with the whole team. Oh my God, I couldn't say that seriously. <laughs> We also work to be a pack, so good. like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was awesome to get a chance to hear from some of our seniors and, and really understand how they're going through this new normal that we're all having to go through. Joe Pot, and I'm joined once again by the Cougar head coach, Kendall Paulus, and she's going to introduce us to the newest member of the Cougar coaching staff. Yeah, we're so excited to introduce you to Kenzie Rombach. Uh, she joined us this summer, started volunteering um, until her grad assistant position started with us. And um, yeah, we're happy to introduce you. Kenzie, we are obviously thrilled to have you and, and you're no stranger to the Ohio Valley Conference coming from Jacksonville State, but just give us an idea a little bit about your playing career, uh, both for the Gamecocks and then afterwards. Yeah, so I played both indoor and beach volleyball for JSU. I was a middle blocker on the indoor team. 
And then after my senior season, I decided to go play professionally overseas in Germany for the club Pro Win Volleys TV Holtz out of Saarbrücken, Germany. And our season was unfortunately canceled due to COVID in March. Did you have any kind of training? Were you there? Did you get any of that experience that, that obviously you were hoping for? Uh, yes, it was definitely different coming into, as with any team, coming into a new team, introducing to the girls. Um, one of the challenges I had to overcome is that I had to learn basic German in order to communicate sometimes. Um, so that was different. But the style of play over there was definitely different while there are some parallels to the game here. So I'm excited to bring that to the team. What led you to coaching and then what led you to SIUE? Yeah, so um, during my time in Germany, I had kind of contemplated becoming a coach. And then it wasn't until I had an injury and I was able to see the game from a more analytical view on the bench. And I really, like volleyball has been one of my passions for who knows how long. And um, just coming in and seeing that from that perspective led me in that direction. And I had a lot of help with my mentors. My older sister, Kelsey, she's an assistant women's basketball coach too. And she kind of paved the path for me, just me going to volleyball instead of basketball. So you decide that you want to go into coaching. Why is SIUE a good fit? Or what made it, what, you know, what was it about SIUE that attracted you? Yeah, so towards the second half of our season in Germany, I was, I was dead set on becoming a coach, and so I was looking for all these opportunities, and on the NCAA job market, I found SIUE. And right away, I sent my resume, my application, I was excited to go, because they're in the Ohio Valley Conference, so I felt confident that I could bring my knowledge from the Ohio Valley, and then my previous playing experience. Um, and right away, I got a call from KP, and we clicked. I felt at home right away. I was immediately supported and like felt like I was one of their own right off the bat. And that really drew me. And once I met the girls, like I knew I was in the right place. And you already know that you look good in red and black Adidas, right? You know it, yeah. <laughs> it was so it was so easy. There was nothing there you had to change. Exactly. So <laughs> so uh, some of your goals, you know, what is it that you hope to accomplish in, in a couple of years here, either, you know, for yourself or with the team? Yeah, so going into coaching, I always knew that the career path that I wanted to choose was helping others. And I think on the volleyball court, it's so rewarding to see a player grow throughout their time, both on the court and off the court. And I wanted to help facilitate their growth. And that was one of the things that drew me to coaching. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that as a personal goal, um, seeing the development of the players is one thing that I strive for. And I never got an Ohio Valley Conference Championship ring, so definitely with this team, I want to win one. That's awesome. I, I, I would love to see that, obviously. Yeah. Um, you've had a little bit of a chance to work with this team and, and see, you know, the components. What's What are some of the things you like best about this Cougar team? So one thing right off the bat is that it's like a family atmosphere. So I fit in right away with the girls. And they've also taught me a lot of things too, um, especially with COVID and everything, with our season being pushed back to spring. Um, they've showed me how they can overcome adversity. It would be so easy for them to, you know what, be like, oh, we can like relax because you know our season's in the spring, but they've done the exact opposite. Um, they've increased their motivation on the court and um, just seeing their mindset coming into these practices when our season is a couple months away is awesome. As well, um, they definitely have, with all the social movements happening now, they've definitely taught me and want and have taught me to strive to be a better person. That's fantastic. Let's bring back in the Cougars head coach, Kendall Paulus, as well. And uh, Coach Paulus, just I'll kind of ask you the same thing. You know, what was it about Mackenzie that drew you to her and, and, and made you believe this was going to be a good fit? Yeah, her playing experience in the, in the conference um, was absolutely a perk, but um, it was when she sold, she sold me on uh, – 
you know, how competitive she is. And when she commits to something, she commits at 110%. And that became really evident throughout the rest of our phone calls and the interview process. So I knew that wasn't just, you know, a line for an interview. And she's really uh, fulfilled that, you know, since she started with us. So her competitive drive and her work ethic um, on the court, the type of player she was, has absolutely translated. Uh, but we also knew she was a really great student um, and a captain and just had really great leadership qualities. And the fact that she could handle that load as an athlete and push herself to excel, um, I thought would be a great addition to our staff. Fantastic. Kenzie, we are excited to have you. And I think that everybody shares that your desire to, to grab that Ohio Valley Conference ring for sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll let you get back to practice because I know that you're busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to know what's going on over there. <laughs> like, I know, I know. It's killing you. I can see it. It's, with, it, with, it with it happening behind you. So I know bad. that. I wanna, yeah. I, I'm focused, though. I'm, I'm present <laughs> with you. Time for us to go back to the video. Our seniors had a chance to talk about the incoming freshmen and what they liked best about the SIUE Cougar newcomers. Yeah, I think they've done a great job of coming in, acclimating to the team culture, really buying into what we're um, laying down. And I think the team as a whole is really buying in. And so that helps when incomers are coming in because they know that we're all bought in um, to the same idea, to the same approach, to the same culture. Um, and so they did a really great job coming in, working with the whole team um, and not seeming like freshmen um, and just really coming in strong, competitive, confident, um, and knowing that they had a place on this team and that we were happy to have them. So Julia, one of our incomers, um, she's one of the smallest pins like me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she's one of the um, biggest shot charts on our team and I think she challenges us as she, um, you know, is making shots that we really haven't seen any, like, seen before and we're like, wow. And then we're learning from her and we're picking up on the stuff that she's doing. So I think she's challenging us as a pin group to um, switch up our shots. Um, and she's just a very overall, just well-rounded player. She can, you know, be back in the back row, digging, passing, you'd think she's a libero, then in the front row, she's just killing it, so. Jessica, one of our incomers, came from Idaho. I'm from California. They're little close states. Um, coming from as far, it's kind of hard because you're so far away from your family, but we've had that bond together. And coming from a junior college, she came in the score ready to play, and she had two years ex of experience whereas the incomers are a freshman straight out of high school. And you can tell on the court just how she's playing and like being awareness of the court and know where she is all the time. Extremely hard worker and she's so nice. Like you would think she's the feistiest person on the court, but when you get her off the court, she couldn't hurt a fly. She's so nice. <laughs> Elisa is our incoming setter and she does a really great job of running our system. She came in with an open mind. Um, and really picked up quickly on our tempo, um, worked really closely with Sarah and now Coach Young in practice, um, and does a great job of communicating front row to back row on what she needs and then how she can better serve the front row. Sydney, another one of our pins um, and comers, she's got one of the heaviest swings on our team. You know, we're all just blown away when she's just bouncing them on the 10 foot line. So, um, and she always brings in, you know, just a positive attitude when she comes in. She's ready to get better. She's ready to learn and just to compete. Uh, Jenna is our last incoming pin hitter, um, and we're really happy to have her. She holds herself to a super high standard on and off the court, works really hard in school, um, as well as brings really competitive spirit to our court. Um, I notice a lot of myself as a freshman in her, and so that's really special um, to know that like she holds herself to such a high standard, but also letting her know that it's okay um, to have a rough day and she takes that so well. So that's one of my favorite things about her. Coach Paulus, this has been great. I loved hearing from the seniors, loved meeting the coaching staff. Um, uh, the only thing I wish is that you and I were in the same place and we were face to face and you know, that we were in a more normal situation. Same here, Joe, but you know what? I'm going to be in the moment and present and grateful for what we have right now. And so, well, absolutely. I, I think that, that we all have, you know, we all can learn that lesson, but we certainly appreciate you and the volleyball team willing to be uh, kind of our guinea pig here on the first episode of the Cougar Connection. Happy to be here. We're just happy, yeah, to see cameras. It's, it's fun for us right now. Right. So thanks for having us.
Right. That's the Cougar said coach, Kendall Paulus. I'm Joe Pot. That is the first episode of the Cougar Connection from SIUE.